The GLCX can receive a signal from a cycle switch. Press the up and down arrow keys together for a few seconds to put the device into setup mode and then use the right arrow or enter key to make the following selections. On the next screen, use the arrow keys to set the interval, which is the time between the start of each lubrication cycle, in hours and minutes, then press the right arrow key. Back on the previous screen, use the up or down arrow key to select accept, and then press the right arrow key. This will return you to the main interval screen. Press the left arrow key to return to the previous menu. Use the up or down arrow key to select end on, and press the right arrow key. Next, use the arrow keys to select cycle and press the right arrow key again. On the next screen, use the arrow keys to set the timeout, which is the time when it goes to alarm if no pressure signal is received, in hours, minutes, and seconds, then press the right arrow key. Back on the previous screen, Select Cycles, and then enter the number of cycles of the divider valve required by your application. If you don't know how many cycles are required, check the system design. If it's not noted, or you don't have the design, you'll need to speak to the person who designed the system. Solenoid alarm is for gear pumps, barrel pumps, or other pumps that continue to run as long as they are energized. When enabled, this will give you an alarm if the controller sees extra cycles because the pump is running longer than expected. If you want to enable this function, use the arrow keys to highlight it, and then press the right arrow key, and then select Enable, and press the right arrow key again. Back on the previous screen, use the arrow keys to select Accept, and then press the right arrow key. This will return you to the main End On screen. Note that the cursor may be over timer, but the top of the screen will still show End On, Cycle. Press the left arrow key twice to go back to the main setup screen. Press the left arrow to leave setup, or use the arrow keys to make another selection.